Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hello. Hello. Good evening. How is the weather in your home? It is rainy? Yes, it's rainy. Stormy. It's raining. Electric storm. Okay, be careful. Okay, good to see you, everybody. <clears throat> Let me check the attendance. Okay. Aleida is not here yet. Ana Maribel, Andrea, Andrea Eugenia Mejia. Brandon. Present teacher. Okay. Brian. Diana. Diana Pamela. Present teacher. Okay. Remember to write your full name. Dolores Patricia. Present teacher. Excellent. Fabiola Pamela. Present teacher. Excellent. Fernando Jose. Present teacher. Yes, Fernando, excellent on time again. Hebel Virginia. Hebel is not here yet. Ingrid Maricela. I'm here, teacher. Great. Jorge Antonio. Carla Susena. Present. Okay. Carla Patricia. Present me. Excellent. María del Carmen. Present teacher. Okay. Marlene Elizabeth. Present teacher. Excellent. Melvin Rodrigo. Present teacher. Great. Milagro de la Paz. Here I am, Miss. Excellent. Here I am. Milton Ernesto. Here for the moment, teacher. Okay. Rene Giovanni. Rene is not here. Silvia Patricia. Present. Okay. Susana Yasmin. Susana. Wendy Beatriz. Present. Okay. Teacher Aleida, soy la primera, ya acabo de entrar. Ahorita, Aleida. Okay.
Teacher, le comento que en el chat de, de WhatsApp parece que alguien tiene problemas con yo y no puede. Okay, thank you. Wilber. Present. Excellent. Um, Stanley. Here, teacher. Ready. I'm ready. Great. Okay. So, Rene Giovanni, Jorge Antonio, not here yet. Hebel. Diana. Andrea. No. Present teacher. Ah, Andrea, okay. Okay, for today, okay, how was your middle term? Tell me, how was it? Did you feel easy? Yes? Too easy. Too easy, excellent. Hundreds, only hundreds. Yes, it's sir. Turn, uh, too easy on the platform, but. But? Yes, for those. The platform? It's very bad. Easy. Yes. Yes. The middle term, easy. I, I the platform, hear, uh, uh, very uh, bad. But, but uh, I'm waiting. But what, Milton? What was the problem? Me, 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 no me dejó este, una respuesta, no me la aceptó. Tuve que notificarle a Flor para que me la corrigieran. No me la aceptaba por más que le di. Ah. Creo que es por la con el que la mayoría tuvo problemas. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. So for today, we're going to start section four. Today, we're going to talk about vocabulary related to food. We're going to talk about likes and dislikes. So you are going to learn to express yourself regarding to what things or what type of food do you prefer in what type of food you, you don't like, okay? And also we are going to learn a little bit about the pyramid food, okay? What do you know about the pyramid food? What, why do you think it has a pyramid shape? Why is it like, it's like a triangle? Why? Hello? A ver, let me show you. <laughs> Uh, the pyramid food tiene que ver con la nutrición. Yes, with food and the the all the the kind of food that we have. But why it is used the the pyramid shape? Why? Why we have like a triangle? a triangle shape. Ideas, but you don't remember. remember Maybe because. Yes. Okay, it's supposedly in the in the base of the pyramid we have all the food that we have to eat more during the day right we need more pieces of this food 
uh, the pyramid classific uh, element for growth. Okay, but we don't have only healthy food in the pyramid. If we have healthy for food and also unhealthy food, we have both. But, but what is the difference? What is the difference? No se le entiende muy bien porque creo que alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. Teacher, hay mucha interferencia. ¿Qué hay interferencia? Thank you. Okay. So, in the pyramid food, we have all types of food. We have healthy, but also we have unhealthy food. But which is the difference or how we can see which food is good and which one is bad for us? How you can measure using the shape, the, the pyramid, the pyramid or the triangle shape? Depending to the health. Yes? Depending mm -hmm. to the health. Okay, but for me, for me the, the sugar and the and the bueno candy no. Sugar uh, and candies are on too bad. are bad, okay, are bad for health. Okay, as I was saying on the base, okay, this is the base the space which is bigger okay on the base we have the food that we can eat more okay we can eat this type of food twice a day or three times a day for example uh, in the breakfast you can eat cereal you can eat cereal in the breakfast. At noon, in the lunch, you can eat rice, okay? And in the dinner, you can eat something else for that, for that specific uh, level, which, is, which are the grains, okay? The grains. So depending on the of the space that the food has on the or have on the on the on the pyramid you can eat more or less of that kind of food okay the next the next section is the fruit and vegetables okay fruit and vegetables Okay, this also you can eat uh, like tw uh, twice a day, okay? Or even the vegetables you can eat in, in, in each meal. Okay? You can include or you should, you should include vegetables in every meal. And the fruit, uh, you can eat once, or twice, depending on, on, on your sugar levels, así como decía Milton. Okay, remember that, that fruit also <coughs> have sugar, natural sugar, but it, it has sugar inside of, of it. So if you have problems with your sugar levels on, on blood, you cannot eat a lot of fruit or not every type of food. For example, grapes had a lot of sugar on it. So they are not recommended to people who has problems with sugar levels. This is my okay. problem. <laughs> yes. Okay. So let's practice the ah, and. Then the next the next uh, section 
is meat or proteins and the dairy products. Okay, the dairy products. Okay, dairy products are all of the things that you can um, produce based on milk. Okay, they are based on milk. And the last, the last section are the fat, oils, and sugar. Okay, that's the last section. So remember, on the base you can eat more, and on the on the on the the birds on the apples, you have to eat less. Okay, you have to eat less. Okay, now let's practice the words. Okay, we have bread, cereal, crackers. Okay, the crackers are a little different from the cookies. Crackers are simple or without sugar and cookies are with sugar. Okay, so that's the difference. Crackers son como las galletas saladas, las de cóctel. Okay, en las y las cookies sí Café llevan azúcar. Asli. Yes, sugar, chocolate, um, and a lot of things more. Then we have rice, pasta, in noodles, okay. Noodles are they are not like a spaghetti. They are different. They are different from a spaghetti. A spaghetti is a kind of pasta, but the noodles are um, like the maruchan, the las famosas sopas maruchan here. So those are uh, like a noodle soup. Okay, With the milk? noodles are um, conchitas. Like, yes. Como conchitas, or como, eh, no, that's pastas. That's pasta. Las conchitas, it's pasta. Como, the noodles. Pero son yes. Son más delgaditos los. Más delgaditos. Mm -hmm. Son más delgaditos. Mm -hmm, los noodles. So that, that's an, it, it, it's, it's like a, a Chinese food. Okay, noodles are from, from that part of the world. And pasta is, is different. Okay, the pasta is different. And we have different type of pasta. Okay, long pasta and short pasta and a lot of more. Okay, so pasta is different from noodles. Noodles are, are soft, are, are, are softer. And uh, como más, más delgaditos, más finitos. Okay, then we have on the fruit, we have bananas, Oranges, strawberries, okay, oranges, strawberries, apples, mangoes. We okay, have also, teacher. yes. ¿Por qué lo llaman así? Porque sí, te, tengo esa interrogante de que por qué no llamar los mangos como lo llamamos nosotros acá en el lenguaje original. Yes, they, they, they change everything. A todos le ponen en su acento. Mm -hmm. Como los tacos. No son tacos, son tacos. Or the tortillas. O sea, todo le, le, es como el, el acento que les ponen, le ponen los gringos. Acuérdense que así como para nosotros es difícil sonar como, 
un alguien nativo de, del inglés, para ellos también es difícil sonar como un latino del un, un nativo del español. Pero, Pero dicen papaya. Papaya, papaya. Papaya, ay, ay, sí, sí. Sí, los he oído uh -huh. de películas decir papaya. Ajá, uh -huh, but with, with an, an accent, un, como un acento diferente. Teacher, y oranges, no es oranges. Orange, uh -huh. orange uh -huh. is one. Es color. Es una. Same. Es el mismo, es el mismo. Okay. Orange, the color orange, but It, it will depend of the, con, of, of the context. Va a depender del, del contexto. But orange is the color. Varias. O, o sea, podemos decir orange. the color orange. Es lo mismo. Y puedo decir I la uh, no, I eat one orange every day. Okay, entonces, si yo escucho el contexto de mi oración, yo sé que me refiero a la fruta, no al color. Pero se dice de la misma manera, orange. Es igual que como diga una naranja, orange. Y Ajá. como en el otro va hay dos naranjas, ya Ajá. lleva orange, así. Yes, el plural. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos...? como lo, lo de aumentar, ok, oranges, entonces en este caso, orange, one, o le agrega one. S, es, 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 como strawberry, que okay, we have strawberry in singular, ahí lo hubiera hecho con a ver. strawberry, y we have in plural, We change strawberries. Si se fijan, son casi las mismas reglas que estuvimos viendo cuando añadíamos sufijos. Ok, tenemos mango, mangoes. We have apple, apples. We have plural en singular. Ok, mango en singular. Mango. En in plural we have the S. Mangoes. Ah, yes, sorry. Mangoes. Banana, bananas. But also we have a lot of fruit more, but we can mention um, the most common, probably. Okay. Tell me what what all the other fruit do you remember or do you know in English? Grape. Grape. Apple. In apple. Pineapple. We. Papaya. Papaya. What else? Pear. Okay, here. What else? Watermelon. Watermelon. Blueberry. Fish. Blueberry. Excellent. Fish. Okay. I think those are the most common. Y yo le comento algo, teacher. Si ¿Sí puedo. Sí. Yes. Que a las este, fresas le, se les conoce también como frutillas, pero en inglés, pero no sé cómo se dice. Pero en Bear. ciertas partes le dicen frutillas, pero es algo que no está en desuso. Pero sí en algunas partes se encuentra. Es que si se fijan, strawberry es, es, es en inglés es como una palabra compuesta. Entonces, we have the, the, the family of the berries. Okay. We, we can have a berry, like the blackberry, el, the cell phone, the very old cell phone, the blackberry. Entonces, tenemos different, eh, bueno, aquí casi no. 
Pero sí tenemos una berry aquí que sería, hacen el fresco de mora, la mora, right? It's a type of berry. And we have the strawberries. Entonces tenemos blackberries, strawberries, blueberries. Entonces todas son como de la misma familia, tienen la misma, así la forma parecida. Entonces eh, es como Creo un tipo que... de, de valla, como de valla. Ajá, sí, de con vallas, a eso me refería, son vallas. Yes. Ok. So these are four fruits. Then we have vegetables. Ok, vegetables. Ok, to vegetables. You drop the, you, the, the E doesn't sound. Okay, vegetables, vegetables. Okay, we have broccoli, carrots, lettuce, ah, well, broccoli, carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, Ok, entonces igual aquí tenemos singular en plural. Acá también podemos aplicar lo que estábamos viendo de eh, countable y non-countable, que solamente lo habíamos como mencionado y no habíamos profundizado mucho, pero aquí en, 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 en esta semana sí vamos a hablar acerca de las cosas contables y no contables. But basically... If you want to know when something is countable, o sea que se puede contar, it has to have a plural form para que algo sea catalogado como contable, tiene que tener una forma plural. Entonces, la, sabemos que los plurales los lo, se forman agregando la es o en algunos casos y es. Ok, con eso formamos los plurales. Entonces, si una palabra tiene una forma plural, es porque es countable. Es algo que se puede contar. Que okay, mention what de, de las que hemos visto hasta ahorita. Fruits, vegetables, grains. What Tell me what things are countable. The vegetable. Which one? The lettuce. Potatoes. Potatoes. Okay. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Mangoes. Mangoes. Correct. Oranges. Strawberries. The strawberries, apple, crackers, crackers, uh -huh. crackers, carrots, okay, and bananas, bananas, yes. But what about the lettuce? What about the lettuce? It's countable. You can count. It's not countable, no. Non-countable, right? What about the rice? No. The rice. You can count rice by rice? Not count, no. Non-countable, no. non -countable, right? The pasta? You can say, I eat two pastas today. Can you use that expression? No. No. Pasta is uncountable. Uncountable. What about the bread? Bread. It's not countable now. At in my in my dinner every day I eat two breads. Countable or non-countable? Is that correct? It's non-countable. Non-countable. Mm -hmm. Non-countable. Cereal? 
non-contable. Non non-contable. Entonces, como les había mencionado de non-contable things, primero, it doesn't have a plural form. No se puede, no hay una forma plural para decirlo. Segundo, es que siempre necesitamos algo que nos indique cómo medirlo. Uh -huh. A bowl of cereal. A, a, uh -huh. a cup of rice. A slice of bread. Uh -huh. Entonces, siempre necesitamos añadir algo para poder medir la cantidad de ese alimento. Por ejemplo, two slices of lettuce o two pieces of lettuce. ¿Okay? Eso es la otra característica para que ustedes puedan identificar de non-contable, de non-contable things. Y esto es importante que lo conozcan porque dependiendo de si las cosas son contables o no contables, luego así vamos a ir formando las oraciones porque se forman de manera diferente, con, con palabras diferentes, dependiendo si son contables o no contables. Entonces tienen que aprender a, a identificar o a diferenciar cuáles son contables y cuáles son incontables. Hasta el momento, it's clear, questions? It's clear. Ok. Además, es clear, clear. Ok, excelente. Sí. Then we have meat and other proteins. Okay. Here in this category, we have, for example, meat. Aquí no está, pero también tenemos poultry. A poultry, it's from chicken. Okay, todo lo relacionado al chicken o las carnes blancas. Chicken, um, turkey. We have turkey, el, el que comemos para Navidad. Ya casi, ya casi viene el turkey. Pasó Thanksgiving. Ah, Thanksgiving, yes. Yes, duck, duck, todas la, las aves, las aves serían poultry, yeah, sure. o la carne blanca, yes, yes, I always thought that, be yes, Milagro, Can you hear me? Yes. Can you? Yes. I always thought that beans were grains. Beans, yes, beans. It, there are vegetables, but because they have beans. A, uh -huh, they have they have a lot of um como sería el right. it's, it's like protein o sea mayormente, it's like a protein. Ajá, mayormente se que mm -hmm. ajá, pesa o digamos que su mayor característica it's a protein it, it's that, that they have protein it's not like, but uh, it, pero incluso digamos que no entra en los vegetables porque también este es una legumbre. Uh -huh. Beans. Beans, beans are, are legumes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a, a little different. Mm -hmm. An exception. Yes, correct. Meat it are all the from the cow the cow meat to, de todas las partes right we eat everything until the liver hasta el hígado de la, de la pobre cow entonces meat son las carnes rojas ok 
carnes rojas. Hey, the, those are meat. Ibiza. <laughs> yes, la, ¿cómo, la, ¿cómo se llama? La que le ponen a la yuca. Merienda. La merienda, right? Eso. Me dio hambre. <laughs> Chicharrón. Chicha, uh, okay, okay, the pig. I can't find not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. Yeah. Yes, pepesca. We have pepesca chicharron and uh, merienda, I think. We have, types. we have fish. Okay, pero el fish ya entra en, en o sea, si sí es de la misma categoría, pero digamos que todos los, eh, todos los, los, los mariscos serían eh, seafood. Ahí entrarían los mariscos. Uh -huh. Seafood. The seafood is sí. bad for COVID-19. Perdón. <ríe> Yes. Eh, significa que vaya, si decimos o hablamos de meat serían solo las carnes rojas, pero ahí veo que dice beef, eso sería solo de res. Yes, beef es de res. Yes, beef. Es como la, like a steak, como, bueno, steak es cuando ya está cocinado, pero... Beef, ajá, es car carne roja, como un trozo de carne roja. Mm -hmm. Hey, poultry, dijimos que era todo lo relacionado con las aves. Y la seafood sería fish, el, el calamar, el, uh, las conchas, cangrejos, the lobster, todo lo que proviene del mar es seafood. Okay. And lobster. Lobster, yes, lobster. I never tried, but uh, crabs. Oost, uh, get a van. Oster. Osterns. Ostra. Ah, vaya, for example. Aquí también entrarían las nuts, las nuts, que serían eh, todas la, las semillas, como almonds. Eh, pecana. ¿Cuál? Pecana, nuts. Pecanas. Eh, to, todas la, las semillas entrarían acá. Entonces, igual, por su, más que todo por la por, por la carga proteica que tienen. Por eso entran en esta categoría. Mami. Then we have the dairy products. Okay, the dairy products. Yogurt. And yogurt. Cheese. And milk. Okay, yogurt, cheese, and milk. And finally we have fats, oils, and sugar. Okay, cream. Butter, oil, candy, and potato chips. Okay. Eso es papas fritas. Yes. yes. Okay. Potato chips. And in general, por ejemplo, lo que nosotros decimos churritos, aquí que le llamamos los churritos, are, are, um, could be... Chips or snacks. I am hungry. <laughs> okay, pero digamos en general, okay, puedo quitar el potato chips y only a chip, okay, a chip or a snack. Okay, questions? 
teacher. Yes. Te, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre fat y oil? Fat es, la, es como la categoría. Todo lo de engorde, por así decirlo. Aquí, por ejemplo, no han puesto el cake. La manteca. Cake, ice cream, chocolate. Todo, o sea, todo lo de engorde, todo lo bueno está en los fats. Es como la, la, la categoría. En oil es solamente la, ya el, el aceite en sí. But fat, it's, it could be any, any, any type of food that, la que le, le, la, lo que lo hace engordar. That's how the fat. Teacher, yes? teacher, y la manteca. Y la manteca como. It's pues, butter, como like butter. Manera. Ah, okay. Que okay, yo entiendo a butter como margarina. Yes. And, bueno, ten, es que tenemos mantequilla, margarina y manteca. But it's, it's, es más como la consistencia. De okay. que no es líquida, sino que es sólida. Any more questions? Okay, vamos a ver. The cream, countable or non-countable? Non-countable. Non-countable. Okay. Potato chips. Non-countable. Non-countable, correct. Milk. No contable, no. Excellent. Yes, non contable. We measure a glass of milk or a cartoon of milk. Okay, no questions? No questions. Clear. 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 I didn't mention eggs. Well, but eggs. I forget about the eggs. Okay, next. Okay, expressing likes and dislikes. Now we are going to create sentences about the food that you like and you don't like. For example, it, when you like something, you can use I like, obviously, I love, okay, I love it's more than like. Okay, like is yes, I, I like, I like something, I like um, the, I don't know, algo que, que le guste, como yes, like. But when you use I love, it's, por, it's because you really like something. Okay, you can uh, kill for it because you love it. Okay, algo que les encanta. I enjoy, okay, it, 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 this is like, um, <laughs> Like an action. Que aquí tiene que, es como cuando, cuando, cuando está haciendo algo. Tiene que agregar el verbo. I enjoy eating, for example. I enjoy drinking. Y no solo puedo decir I enjoy apples. No, sino que I enjoy eating apples. Ok. Esta sería un poquito diferente. Enjoy. I adore igual. Tenemos que agregar un verbo. I adore cooking cakes. I'm crazy about, I'm mad about, and I enjoy is the same. Then, to express dislikes, we have I don't like, obviously, the negative form 
I don't like, I dislike, okay, which is the same. I don't like or I dislike is the same. I hate, this is powerful, okay? I hate, o sea que es para nada, okay? I hate. I eh, Avor, I can bear, I can stand, and I detest. Que honestly, estos no los había escuchado. I have a question. Yes. Different in I don't like and I dislike. Mm. It is is the same. I don't like and I dislike. It's the same. I don't like. Uh, chocolate. No, I dislike. En, no, en este caso lo aplicaría con verbos. I don't like y luego pondríamos el, el pronoun de una sola ah, vez. Okay. I okay, don't okay. like. I don't like strawberries. I okay. don't like broccoli. Pero el dislike we need a verb porque no podemos decir I dislike apples. No podemos decir así, I dislike eating apples. Or okay. I dislike uh, to buy groceries. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Ese sería como una acción. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gracias. With an action. Uh -huh. Y este iría, iría con nouns. Okay. Now, ready for the exercises? Yeah. Yes. No. Muy bien. We are going to type a sentence using or expressing dislike, dislike. Siempre en simple present. No me vaya a usar otro tiempo. Simple present. Expressing dislike. Type. Type one sentence. Vamos, vamos, you can do it. You can do it. Qué bien, bárbaros. I dislike broccoli. Y Brandon dislike, we need to add the verb. I dislike eating broccoli. Que en, podemos agregar verbos cuando usamos, cuando decimos, eh, o, o cuando tenemos que agregarlos y tenemos ya otro, otro verbo, um, podemos hacerlo de dos formas. Podemos agregarlo con to plus the verb, así como lo hizo Milagro, que okay, to plus verb. Ok, iría. Dislike, for example, plus two plus verb. Or podemos usar dislike or like plus el verbo directamente en, en ing, with ing. Ok, 
Okay, vamos a ver, let's check, let me check. I love chocolate. I dislike, dislike eating pork. Oh, Marlene, you miss so much. I dislike eating broccoli. Okay, yes, that's better, Brandon. I dislike... Te faltó el verbo, Diana. I dislike eating or... I dislike oranges. Que cuando, cuando estamos hablando en general, tenemos que usar siempre la forma plural. Because we cannot refer only to one. Es como que solamente una no me gustara, pero las demás sí me gustan. I dislike oranges in general. I dislike eating pork. I dislike cream. Really, Wilber. I dislike the yogurt. Uh, Aleida, you miss the verb. I do not like onion. Okay, le faltó el, ver el verbo al principio, Aleida. Okay. I don't like cucumber. Okay, as I said now. I dislike to drink milkshake. Really, Carla? I dislike eating soap. But yes, it's done. Me too. Because this the soap, you used to take a bath. ¿Quién es el que dice la frase? Take a bath, people. Take a shower, whatever. It's with you. S O U P soup. Okay. I dislike eating cream broccoli. I dislike eat oranges. I ever the cereal. I enjoy eating onions. But it has to be negative in the I. <coughs> Podríamos poner I don't enjoy. For example, si, lo, si quiero usar enjoy y lo quiero hacer en forma negativa, solo le agrego mi, mi auxiliar en forma negativa. Así como lo aprendimos con los negative statements. Okay? Puedo usar cualquiera de, de, la, de, la, de las oraciones que... O sea, podemos usarlo de dos formas, haciéndolo negativo o añadiéndole el, el prefijo que expresa que es opuesto. I don't enjoy or, uh -huh, eating onion drinks. I don't like grapes. Yes. I love eating soup of chicken. Okay. Muy bien, y ahora vamos orally in the last minutes that we have. We are going to make it orally. Ready. Ready. Now you are going to express what you really like, something that you really like, something that, that you love to eat, that you can eat every day without get boring okay milagro start or are you freeze yes i think milagro is freeze let's see stan first example something that you really like to eat About pasta. Dos milagros. Dos milagros. I really uh, love it pizza. Hawaiian pizza. Eating pizza. Okay. You, yes. okay. I really love eating pizza. Okay. Milagro, say it again, please. Ladies, teacher.
Ah, okay. Yes, me too. Okay, Wendy. I love the potato chip with chicken. Okay. I love chocolate. Drink chocolate or a bar, bars of chocolate or whatever. Solo que sea chocolate. Bars. Okay, Brandon. Um, I really love ice cream. Ice cream, yes. A ver, Wilber, dice, I like pineapple. Okay, I uh, I love coffee. Yes, Susana. Vamos a ver. Andrea. Andrea, something you really like. Avocados. I like milkshake chocolate. Okay. Choc chocolate milkshake. Sería al revés. Chocolate milkshake. Y vamos a ver María del Carmen. I love eat soup of bean with radish, avocado, tomato, and <laughs> cheese. Ooh, okay, excellent. Only you have to, to add to or the ing. I love to eat or I love eating. Okay. Uh -huh. Bean soup, bean soup, right? Fernando. I love burritos. Burritos. <laughs> yeah. Or, no, que sería? Yes, and they are from Mexico, right? Okay, Heaven. Cherries. Uh, in my week, my meals favorite are vegetables. And um, in the weekend, seafood and milk. And, and I love it in chocolate. Okay. Like Milton. <laughs> Muy bien, let me check the attendance. I don't know if you have questions de cómo hacer las oraciones. Que cuando expresamos likes and dislikes, siempre vamos a trabajar en simple present. Siempre vamos a hacerlas en simple present. Ok. I love bean soup. What are pellejas? These are from, from El Salvador. Nunca había escuchado. Sopa, sopa de frijoles blancos con pellejas. Se me olvidó el color de los frijoles, nada más. Ah. Pellejas, ok. Vamos a ver. Diana Lisbeth, Hebel, 
Present teacher. Jorge. Jorge, no. René. Present teacher. Okay, and who uh, did them? Diana and Jorge, no here. Jorge, Jorge, a la una, a la dos, and no. Okay, if you don't have questions, questions? No question, teacher. Right, what a good student. Great. So let's go and today. take a shower. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.